Hello, how is it going? It is Fake Hero coming at you once again. Today, we're going to take a look at the King Cow, King Cool. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Elusive deck. So this is one of the most popular decks in the meta at the moment. Uh, I've had about 10, 15 games with this. And I'll be honest, I have been struggling to find those uh, consistent wins. I think this deck may be a bit more uh, testing on the player's experience with the deck. So a rewarding, rewarding deck in the right hands, right? So quickly look at the cards here. Uh, you got some powerful one drops and lots of synergies in this deck I've noticed so far. So the Omen Hawk, uh, very powerful because you have a few cards in the early game where you bounce this back and it's a good target to bounce back. And you'll be playing it from your deck with certain cards too. So you'll be finding a ton of value from this card, okay? So the Omen Hawk is a massive, massive, uh, part in its strategy in the early game you got a couple of other one drops like the Navori blade scout pretty much just for more synergy along with the kinku wayfinder kinku wayfinder is an allegiance card so our deck's heavily influenced by this uh because majority irony okay so when you summon this it gets bonus blah 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 we get allegiance uh so this will summon two one cost allies from the deck so you shouldn't be too unlucky majority of the time you'll get that so alongside those one drops in King K Way King Cow Way Finder. Navori uh Conspirator. This is your perfect target, your perfect curve on turn two to return a unit to your hand, which would be the Omen Hawk, right? That would be the most ideal situation. So very powerful and uh this game can win uh you can win games fast. You also lose fast if you butcher uh, Green Glade Duo, uh, pretty much just elusive strategy. A lot of the cards here are elusive and just this card's quite annoying to deal with against certain matchups and it can be quite powerful and you can get lots of value from it. Shadow Assassin's pretty good mid, uh, all-rounder card. Uh, Understudied but powerful effect. Drawing cards is pretty relevant. You could also bounce back if you need to to keep cycling through the deck. Uh, King Cow Life Blade is just lifesteal pretty much more elusive. Dual Protector, they recently got buffed, so it went from, I think it used to be 6 mana, didn't it? Now it's 5 mana, it's just something that you can play during your curve, uh, and you can keep the tempo up, as well as putting a minion onto the board. Uh, Deny is pretty powerful as a card, Ionia can help to bounce back minions against your opponent, or in some rare cases, sometimes you'll be, be bouncing back your minions as well. Uh, Zed's just Zed, pretty powerful champion for Ionia, suits this deck and doing a lot of face damage. Uh, so this is kind of an aggressive deck, but I also, I feel like it's semi, semi got some combo vibes to it. Like you can definitely butcher the combo or butcher the plays that you're making if you're not doing it appropriately. So uh, again, I feel like this deck's kind of a bit more complicated to play, but very rewarding. Let's check out the deck overview there. All right, so the general info for this deck is that the King Cow Loose is an aggressive deck slash I feel it's kind of a combo deck that buffs elusive units that bypass blockers and hit face. This is a quick deck that will win if played correctly. So again, I feel like you've got to play this deck correctly. You can't just uh, play like a spider aggro deck. It's not the same. You do need to get these combos down, right? Uh, play correctly. So in the favorable matchups, you'd need to play it correctly, okay? You still have a good, good chance against some tough decks. I noticed that I was struggling against uh, other Ionia decks, especially Yasuo. I've been seeing this Yasuo Noxus deck popping up, and that's I've been struggling against that. So how to play it against control decks, the most important objective is to be able to protect your units with spells until you can push for the win. Again, feels like kind of combo vibes there, right? Against aggro decks, you want to develop faster than they can while using your one drops to chump block while your elusives finish the job. This deck has a few chick tricks like the King Cow Waf Wayfinder to buff up your Green Glade duo by three attack in one turn. Again, kind of combo variants to it, but if you've got to pick the right times, uh, Navori Conspirator is a great to keep when you already have the Blade Square out or Omen Hawk in hand. Yes, of course. That's that two drop that will bounce back your minion. Uh, quite powerful. Jewel Protector is a great way to hold the board while setting up a huge unit to either stabilize or win the game and push the removal. Again, uh, the Jewel Protector is kind of just to keep up the tempo as well as developing. Uh, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, a couple of spells here, Twin Disciplines and Elixir of Iron, burst spells that can help maintain your board or push more damage. Okay, we get the idea here. Let's have a couple games. Uh, hopefully we can get a couple wins here so I can at least show you how to do it properly. 
Again, I've had about 10, 15 games experience so far, and I've been, yeah, I've been struggling to keep up with some of the wins, okay? So, I think now during this recording, I should be able to work it out a bit better. I haven't had much of a chance to play many of the uh, Demacia or Piltover decks or the mixture of variants of either. So this might be tough for me. I mean, what was he running? Lux, Heimerdinger. So, so I think this is like a Lux, Heimerdinger control kind of deck. So this kind of means that we want to set up a kind of combo that and keep our minions alive. Uh, I think our Wayfinders, arguably not too heavy of a keep as well as the Greenglade duo. I might just keep the one Wayfinder. This seems like an okay hand. If we're lucky, we may find may, may find a one drop. Unfortunately not, but that's not too much of a problem. So I think in this matchup, we develop progressively and don't overextend too much until we can set up a big damage source. So this Green Glade duo is probably going to be where a lot of the damage comes from. Uh, we're curving out here, so this is pretty good. So next turn, the idea would be to play the Wayfinder, buff up the duo excessively. That's illegal. That's okay. We are elusive, so it's fine. That card got, um, did it get buffed? No, it didn't get buffed. It's always been six mana. So I've seen this play where they, uh, I guess they kind of ignore the first few turns, save a spell mana to play a 5-5. Uh, finding Elixir Vine here could actually be really clutch. Because I want to try and keep some spell mana. In case I need to protect my uh, green glade. This is important. We keep this one alive, or we do lots of damage. Contain the arcane. I think... I think we just play the Hawk, right? Choosing not to attack. So I think we just play the White Finder, and at this point we want to try and get in there and do a lot of damage. We have Deny. We have enough mana for Deny to. Yeah, so we're just going to go hard and fast against this control deck. We're not actually swinging with everything. But arguably, at the same time, uh, I consider if... Okay, let's attempt to attack. I'm not going to use my twin disciplines yet. I want to see what he plays so I can deny something. I think I really want to deny this because that's a lot of damage. There's a lot of damage I want to go face. Yeah, so this is important to have that mana spare. That's a difference maker right there, I believe. Yeah, just don't give the control deck enough time. So my list wasn't identical to the list on uh, Mobilitics. I actually only have two copies of the Hatchling and I run an extra Deny. This was first, uh, at first it was because I couldn't afford to get the extra copy of the Windfarer, but also like, I don't think having missing one copy of Deny is too bad. Uh, let's recall this block with one chump. This is fine. I think this is fine. So 
So now coming back into our turn, we probably just win. Fortunately, we don't have any mana to play it. We have enough mana for uh, iron in case he tries to use some spells here. Oh, that was weak. Oh, because he's maybe because he's not Ezreal, he's not uh, the typical deck I'm expecting. Spend all your mana to deal one to a unit. To play, spend all your mana to deal one to a unit. Uh, yeah, I think I think we'll burst it. I want to keep the elusive units on the field so we have more potential to go face. Ah, uh, so many disciplines. I so we shouldn't have time to react to this. Let's burst. Am I supposed to swing with more units? See, this is something I'm not so sure about, because if he has ways to deal damage to my guys... Remove all techs. Okay. I think I was meant to swing with more units. So I want to grant HP here. I misplayed because I didn't swing, swing more minions into his face. I think at that point you're supposed to swing with everything. Uh, I was playing a bit too passive there. We'll see if we get punished for that. Yeah, we definitely are getting punished. That was a win right there. We just let it, let it slip. I'm happy to lose the game, at least I understood that I'm learning that the play there was to not do what we did. Okay, what's the play? I fear that... Ah, uh, it's first spell. I'll skip the block. Let's send this back to his hand. He'll just replay it, but that's our uh, mana he has to expend on it, which is six, which means that he's not using spells to... um. It just means that he's not using spells to clear my board if he chooses to do that. He was also damaged, and now he gets a free heal. I think that's fine. Actually, I think I might play the Hatchling to finish this game off. I think he'd be mad to play this over doing something else more productive. I also think that's pretty weak. Okay, do I... Let's think, let's think. If I play the Hatchling... Okay, let's just play the Hatchling. It's probably correct. <laughs> probably correct, as in... Because I don't know if it's correct or not. So I'm just guessing. Create a random spell that costs six or more in hand. How much does that cost? That is a three mana spell.
So Lux needs to level up before she can start creating final sparks. So I think I'm okay. Summon two dauntless vanguards. Okay. I've been hiding my life too long. Okay, surely something connects. Incredible amounts of damage, uh, Zed leveling up, just to flex a little bit. Really cool animation, that one. Incredible, incredible. Well, we definitely could have won that game like 10 minutes ago, but as you can see, you can just do some powerful things. And that's why I also feel like this deck is sort of like a combo deck, because you got to start to prepare your minions and choose the right time to go in and finish off your opponent. We've been out cold